Well, I was going to upload some stuff to my music channel, only to find that one of the files I was going to upload, I'd accidentally deleted. So, hoping this is going to find it. In the meantime, I thought I'd return to this. Yep, I'm going to try and get this working again. Now, you may remember in the previous video that I did about this, it was a failed repair attempt because I couldn't get it to do anything. Well, I think that was because I didn't have the original control box that came with it. Because when I got this, I cut this off and I put that away. And I really think it needs that in order to work. So, I've put this back in, I've resoldered the wires on. Had to do just a little bit of repair on the circuit board because there was a few um, corroded traces there. I mean, one of the legs on the, on the LED that indicates the power was just completely gone. So, for the time being, I'm just running this off a 9 volt battery. Because that's the voltage it uses. If we turn this on, you can see we do have a green power LED. And, you might not be able to hear it, but there is a hiss coming from the speaker that I've just temporarily wired up to this. That's the original speaker, but this is just one I'm using for testing purposes. Don't know if you can hear that, but we are getting a hiss out of the amplifier. And let me just turn the controls up all the way. When I touch when the power goes in, you might be able to hear a hum. It's very faint, but it is there. Okay, so I'm running this off my bench power supply now. And now if I go up to the speaker and touch the signal wire... You might be able to hear that. Yeah, I just don't think this little 9 volt battery had enough oomph to power the amplifier, so, uh, yeah. Well, I've got it plugged into the headphone output on this tape recorder. What we're getting is a hum. So I think we might have a bad ground, maybe in here, or in the cable, or maybe the connector itself. But it does show one thing. It shows that this amplifier is actually working. Yeah, I can really feel that. The IC is getting warm. That one's kind of warm. The other one shouldn't be because there's nothing connected to it. The camera thought there was a face there for a second. And again. Don't know why my camera thinks this is a face, but whatever. Also, it's only 21 degrees in this room and I'm boiling. I'm just out of curiosity. I want to see what's on that power on. Um, pilot wire, you know, it tells the amplifier to be either on or off. Now at the moment it's on, I haven't got any speakers connected, but let's just see what we get on the meter here. Let's just try and get that wire on there, and we've got mm, roughly 2 volts. Alright, I'm going to turn this off, let's see what we got on the meter, what kind of voltage we got there. We do have, if that wire would just actually go on there so we can measure it. There we go. Mm, five volts. So, oh, by the way, I know this little, um, oh, use the thing that doesn't have a band aid on it. This little jumper wire here goes to the uh, power on, pilot, whatever. So it seemed that about 2 volts this turns on, and about 5 volts it turns off. Okay, I've got a little bit of music playing into this now. We'll turn that up. You can tell the subwoofer amplifier is at least working. This speaker though sounds cooked. So I don't know how that happened with such a low power amplifier in there, but um, you know. I might be able to find a replacement. Yeah, I'm just running a 100 hertz tone into this speaker to see if it's uh, that. Connected up to a different amplifier, of course. And yeah, that doesn't sound good. You hear how fuzzy that sounds? If I just touch the cone, 
Sometimes it just cuts right out. I think we've got a broken voice call in there. Fortunately, I've got speakers I could replace that with. Well, here it is, all working. That's a successful quote-unquote repair job. All I've got to do now is find a suitable replacement speaker to go in there. I thought I had a good replacement, but it didn't fit because the magnet got in the way. Also, I'm going to make a new power supply for this. Although I could use the internal 9 volt power supply that's in this. I don't know how safe that is because you know, it's been in the shed. I don't know how safe it is. And I've also already had provided provisions for where to connect a 9 volt supply anyway. So, I'm going to go now. And this is something that's going up later on my Music Wizard channel. 